What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to finish solving problem 3.8 of Griffith's 4th edition. So this is the third part of this problem, and we are asked to calculate the energy of this configuration. So just a brief recap. So here we have a charge Q that is situated at a distance A from the center of a grounded sphere of radius r. So we say this is a grounded sphere, so that means the surface of this sphere is uh, is where the potential is zero, or the potential at the surface of the sphere is zero. That's why it's called grounded. Okay, so we were asked to find the potential of, uh, of outside the sphere. And we were also verified or calculated that uh, the surface charge uh, induced on the sphere is actually this charge Q prime, where Q prime is equal to negative R over A Q. Okay? Okay, so this verifies that this mirror configuration is actually equivalent or will can be can can represent or uh, can represent our original configuration. Okay? So now, if you want to calculate the energy of this configuration, what we're going to do is that we're going to look for the work done for us to be able to place this charge at this point A away from the origin or A away from the uh, center of the sphere from infinity. Okay, so all every from infinity we want to place this charge here. Okay, because of symmetry we can use this axis to be our uh, uh, to be our uh, coordinate of integration. Okay? So, the energy of this configuration is equal to the work done to bring Q from infinity to A. Okay? So, we're going to use A as our coordinate. So, this, is, this becomes a line integral of the force that we want to exert dl. So in this case, this will be dA. Just to, uh, uh, just to uh, beware that this is not a area integral, let's put in a prime here, where d a vector prime is equal to dA prime, which is along this direction a hat prime or a prime hat okay now this f is the force that we exert on q as we place it near at this point and that will be equal to uh, the negative of the force between q prime and q so this f prime would be equal to negative f prime and uh, this f is equal to negative f prime where f prime is equal to the force between q prime and q so this negative 4 pi epsilon naught times q q prime divided by the distance between q prime and q which is a minus b and squared and the direction is a prime Okay, so therefore, the work done will now be equal to integral of negative 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times q, q prime over a minus b squared, a hat, dotted it with d a prime. Sorry, this should be A prime because uh, we're just going to change variables later. 
to this we can a prime hat so d a prime would be integrated from infinity to a okay so q prime is negative r over a q so this becomes this is negative so this becomes q squared times r divided by 4 pi epsilon naught and then b is equal to r squared over a from example 3.2 so this integration becomes a prime d a prime divided by a prime squared minus r squared squared okay so it's now your responsibility to uh, ca uh, arrive at this expression from this expression okay so this will now be equal to making this integral we now have q squared r over 4 pi epsilon naught times negative 1 half times 1 over a prime squared minus r squared squared evaluated from infinity to a so therefore the energy stored energy would be equal to negative q squared r over 8 pi epsilon naught times 1 over a squared minus r squared squared so this is now the work done by the uh, the stored energy for this configuration Okay, so again, as you will notice that we express our equation in terms of these variables only R, A, and Q. And not our variables we set here because everything here, R, and the two script R's, and B and theta are all uh, arbitrary variables. Okay, so that's it. Okay, good. I hope. Uh, so this ends equation uh, problem 3.8 of Griffith's fourth edition. I hope you learned something today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.